3D printing has made its way into all sorts of walks of life. But nowhere in the world has it taken off quite like China. 3D printing is used by around a third of companies here for prototyping and has the potential to completely disrupt manufacturing. But I'm about to visit a company that's 3D printing something much, much bigger. This is something I've never seen before. And it's definitely putting this region on the 3D printing map. That's a 3D printed house. The man behind this extraordinary idea is Ma Yihe. So I went to a factory to look at the scene. I saw the workers on the scene for a day. Then it was very dangerous. In that place, they built a house. We thought, why can't we make a car like a car and a plane like a car? We spent three days in the factory to build this house. This house is the first one for us. It takes three days to build it. We can build it for three days. We can build it for three days. We can build it for three days. 呃，这个房子我不告诉你是打印的，你是看不出来的，和我们传统的房子外观是一模一样的。The houses here are printed in much the same way as any 3D printer, just on a much, much bigger scale. You can see from the layers here that it prints everything up layer by layer, except this one is much bigger and it's printing out cement as its material. The key to it is a huge seven-meter-tall printer that piles up layer after layer of a special mix of cement and recycled construction waste. The design is plotted on a computer, and the head simply prints out the pieces to be assembled on site. The special pattern makes it super strong. This is our first house to test. This is our first house to test. But when we test it, we test it with a weight of 28 tons a day. 才有一点裂纹，但是还没有淡。那比我们传统的方法，这个三百厚的混凝土，浪费了那么多的混凝土的房子，强度整整高高了三倍。The technique is so strong, it's been used to construct a five-story building. And like I've seen so often in China, the technology is also being used to retain a bit of China's past. The 3D printing is so versatile, it can even recreate houses that have traditionally taken master craftsmen up to a year to build. The houses can be built 30 times quicker than manual methods, and that means costs can be reduced by 70%. And because the cement used to print the houses uses recycled materials, it's much more environmentally friendly in a country publicly committed to improving its environmental record. Ma nearly went bust pursuing this project. It was his faith that kept this idea alive, and it's another great example of Yangtze Delta entrepreneurs pursuing their dreams.